I graduated from medical school at the Medical College of Virginia in 99. I did my orthopedic residency at the University of Iowa. I did uh, two fellowships, one in sports and arthroplasty and another one in foot and ankle at the Musculoskeletal Institute of Australia in Sydney, Australia. And uh, then I was in practice for 14 years with a private practice group in uh, Roanoke, Salem, Virginia, and then I moved to South Dakota three years ago. So people ask me that all the time. Why not? It has been an absolute blessing to come here. It has reinvigorated my life. If I could bring my colleagues where I've practiced before somewhere to talk about how can you really take care of patients and really do it in a good way, and I would bring them all to this setting, without a doubt. We're a smaller facility and we're a smaller community, so we're able to really um, connect, like if myself or my loved one need to come in for, for care for some reason, you know, like I know likely who I will see and I've already met them before and, you know, whether it was out in the community or here at work, I know who's gonna be taking care of me and I know that it'll be quality care. Honestly, as I grew and, um, you know, my career advanced, I knew this was a safe community and, and a great place to raise my kids, so. Here's a great community. It has a small town feel, but we have a variety of um, different things available uh, at our fingertips, which, which makes living here just wonderful. Water, you know, we're on the water day in, day out, spending time at the river, enjoying the beaches, walking along the paths along the river. Um, we have great hiking trails, great biking trails. If you are an outdoorsman, we live in an outdoorsman's paradise. Uh, the Missouri is beautiful. We love to kayak and spend time out on the water. And it's just, it's a safe place. I feel like I can let my kids go out and play you know, whether it's in the backyard or just around our community, and I don't worry about their safety. We have three public elementary schools, um, two private schools, both um, Christian-based, and then we also have an alternative school um, that works much like homeschooling. And then, of course, we have our middle school and our high school. Plenty of job opportunities available um, from part-time all the way up to full-time. Um, it is fairly easy to find a job around here right now. We just recently um, added 300 rental units um, within the last few years, and another 20 units are under development right now. But we have wonderful realtors in town um, who are willing to go the extra mile to make sure that um, your family is able to find um, the house that you're looking for. Avera St. Mary's is our second largest employer in town, second to the state of South Dakota and they are huge cheerleaders for this town. We always seize the opportunity to build our relationships with our um, partners in the community. We have like the mental health task force and you know we work closely with our ambulance service and first responders, law enforcement. There's always you know an opportunity for outreach whether it's as an individual or as a representative of Avera. We have good days and bad days but this system really does try to pull together to do what's best for patients. And it all is from the top down because the vision is the mission and the mission is the vision. And because we're doing that, people here have no idea the gift that they have in the healthcare system here in South Dakota. There are a lot of opportunities for growth and development. Um, we have openings on, I think, all units on the acute care side. We have openings for the clinic and our specialty clinics, so CNAs and nurses um, are needed. And there's like lateral movement opportunities as well as um, continuing education and growth. We have great uh, sign-on bonuses and there's always um, opportunity for like uh, scholarships to advance your education as well as tuition reimbursement for uh, loans you might already have. 